Hi there. I recorded this video for the benefit of others who might have this partially blocked flush valve on their Toto toilet. The Toto fill valve was plugged from a disintegrated washer in the shutoff valve below this reservoir. The reduced water flow resulted in the tank taking 3 minutes and 25 seconds to fill versus 34 seconds after the repair. The reduced flow also resulted in the toilet bowl fill stream being just a trickle, and that's the black tube, so that the bowl was almost empty of water. First, a look at the toilet before the repair. Okay, this is the tank that is problematic. Let's give it a flush here. Okay, and as you can see, there's just a trickle of water coming out of the black tube there. Tiny, tiny trickle. And originally it worked fine, but something's happened. I then asked my friend Phil to come over and help with the repair. Actually, he did the repair and I was just his sidekick. Okay, removing the... Uh... The filler assembly here, we, uh, we believe we have some issues with uh, a, a uh, washer on the shutter valve that's basically dissolved and with, we're thinking it's uh, impeding the flow of water. So we're going to remove the uh, top assembly here, just snaps off and then we'll remove the float. We just have to squeeze in those two tabs, remove that and this just gives about a less than a quarter turn and it removes. And we're just going to check, make sure there's no debris in there, which it looks pretty clean there. Now this just pulls out. Don't turn, just a straight pull. And it'll just come out easy peasy. Now the filter portion is this little green tube. Can you show me the, is there some black stuff on there? Oh, look at that. There and we there's, go. Your, there's your washer. So that's integrated. The, that's the... The debris from, look that, that's quite a... Yeah, that's been impeding the flow, hasn't it? Yeah. So that, uh, I'm sure, will be the problem. So we'll clean that all off. So just wash that off. We had the water turned off, so if it splutters and coughs, it's uh, just the air coming out of the pipe, but we're good here. And that is nice and clean. So that just pushes back in. There's no rhyme or reason as to how that goes. And then we just line up, as you can see, it's off center of the tube. Where's that? So the tube isn't centered on right, the... it's off center. Yeah. So we have to mount that similarly right in there, and it just pushes in. And you give it a twist, or it's straight nope, in. That doesn't, Does that go straight uh, in? It just goes straight in. This is right. the part that twists. This is the cap that twists, yeah. And don't forget the float valve. Float valve first. Just oh, no. that's right, that goes on after the uh, cap, right. So, reverse procedure, just, you'll feel it. And then let's twist it to the right. Clockwise, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Okay. okay, do about a quarter turn or less. Probably a little, bit, little less than a quarter turn. Yeah. And then these. And you squeeze those, push those together. Push those two tabs in. And they fit right tight, into there. Yeah. yeah, I can see it, yeah. And just make sure it's uh, attached. Yeah. And the cover. Reverse procedure. When you reverse, when you remove the cover, you just kind of, did you squeeze it or pry it There's off? There's a little tab there, you just pull it, I'll, see, I'll, I'll redo that. Yeah. You'll feel that definite snap. And then to reverse the procedure, just pull on that little tab. Yeah. And you'll feel it come. Free there. Yeah, got it. Okay. And that's it, eh? Easy peasy. And that's it. We'll see what the flow is like later. And putting it back, they're just. I guess it's just one big nut underneath, is that right? Are you talking about me or the fitting? <laughs> the, the fitting. <laughs> the other nut will ignore. So the nut goes on the bottom of the yeah. assembly here. Yeah. So you don't want to over tighten that even if exactly. you're using a wrench. It's just plastic, so just be plastic. Yeah. Don't sort of reef on it. Don't reef on it. Got it. That's nice and snug. Just fill, put your filler tube on there. Put the hose into the filler tube there. And just attach the chain back onto the yeah. flushing lever. And 
So Phil, you're explaining that that black tube, that's what's responsible for filling the toilet bowl. This is what fills the toilet bowl. Just a, how much, about 10% of it, of the flow well, goes there? Or? Probably, yeah, probably 10% is a pretty good, uh, good guess then. Okay. Now we already flushed this line out yeah. to get the debris from the valve. So, so we just better reconnect that. And that is just a... And there was substantial debris from the valve there as well. In There's fact, a little bit of flush out there. So here, we're just going to tighten this. Here it is. This, is. this is what was in there. You don't need any wrenches on this part. This is just yeah. You can tell by hand tight, hand tight because there's no flats for a wrench anyway. It's all yeah. yeah. Turning on the water. Turning on the water and just watch my little bit of air. I'll splutter, but just crack it up with less than half to start it off. There we go. There go. Things are happening here. And then just check the leaks. Yeah. No leaks below. Water staying inside the pipe, which is always a good sign. So Phil and I took apart the old multi-turn uh, shutoff valves and we couldn't find any replacement uh, kits that would actually fit it. So we just scavenged the gasket and washer from another one and put it in there. And that's when we discovered uh, the old washer in the... Uh... Well, initially we, uh, we sort of abandoned the original valve and just put on a, a new valve Up, after on, the fact. On top of it, yeah, between there and the toilet. Later on we tank. discovered that that original uh, washer had uh, disintegrated and was impeding the, the, fir the fill time on the, on the toilet. Yeah, and it looks like it's almost full right now. So, so I'll we'll time that and see how good it is. It should take around about 30 seconds. Based on the previous, yeah. The bowl is nicely filled. Look at that. Okay, we're now we're gonna let's tiny we're timing it now. See how long it takes from flush. Ten seconds? No. Oh, it's only ten. I'm doing, I'm doing a countdown. Okay. Yeah, this is faster seconds. than before. This is faster. Almost there. 30 seconds. Da, 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 da. 34 seconds. That's good. That's much improved over the 55 seconds before. And three and, minutes. On and the three previous. minutes on the other toilet that had a similar problem. So we're good to go. We're good to go. Thanks, Phil.